From New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's an extra hot Monday on Wendy. Bruce Jenner has finally addressed all the rumors in the interview that has everyone talking. Wendy's breaking it down and all of today's hot topics. Plus, the Ariana Big Sean breakup is getting out of control with accusations from both sides on what caused the split. Erica Vitrini has the inside scoop. And our spring cha-ching giveaway is just warming up. Will Wendy be calling you today with a chance to win big money? Now, here's Wendy! and ready to deliver the hot topics, so let's go! I love when the barker's in with you. He's barking. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> to my people. Thank you. Take my breath away. I had, thank you, thank you. I had a fantastic weekend. I want to shout out to everybody that was at, uh, in, at my show in Detroit. You know, I'm, do, I'm on tour, a little tour. It's my sit down. There's me before I went on. No, but look. I don't give them the talk show look. Okay, you can't see right there. But literally, my romper is up like a bathing suit. Yeah, yeah. Joke night is a whole different Wendy. Um, and... And um, shout out to everybody, though, that I saw at the soundboard. It, the place held, holds a thousand people. We were sold out. It's a beautiful room. I was only supposed to be on stage for 45 minutes, but I did a whole 67 minutes. <laughs> I love making you laugh. Next stop, Atlantic City, the Brigada. I think that's in two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I do want to acknowledge the families of Kendrick Johnson and Freddie Gray. I don't know whether you've been following these stories, but they're just more disgustingness uh, raining down on my black men. And uh, so I want to shout out to those families. Um, also, uh, Bruce, did you watch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the problem with things coming on over the weekend is that I lose my zest to talk about them. Like, I wish Bruce was on, like, a Monday so I can get right back in the chair on Tuesday and, and talk to you. Um, you know, because I was, on, I was on stage in Detroit, so they had to rush the, the uh, DVD over to the house. So I was going to watch it on Saturday, but my son and I were supposed to be going to see Unfriended. But we were both tired. We never went out. And so I said, all right, we'll, we'll watch Bruce on Sunday instead of going to the movies, because it's like a movie, in two hours. <laughs> I, I must say, I cried almost the whole time. 17 million people watched. And Bruce really... I mean, Diane Sawyer did a really good job, but no matter how good you are as an interviewer... <laughs> you know? As an interviewer, no matter how good you are, if your subject is not going to give it up, then it's a big disappointment. So he talked about everything. Um, take a look, and then we'll talk more. Are you a woman? Um, yes. For all intents and purposes, I am a woman. People look at me differently. Uh, they see you as this macho male. But my heart and my soul and everything that I do in life, um, it is part of me. That female side is part of me. That's who I am. I, I mean, even something like that. Like, I, did you cry the whole time while you were watching it? Yeah. I, you know, and my son, you know, it's funny. Kids these days, they're not as uptight as 
we are and we were at that age. At 14 years old, I was pissed because he's busy on, on his device. And I'm like, would you pay attention? <laughs> I said, what do you think about this? And he's like, mommy, you know, it's whatever. Then he'd get up and go to the bathroom. I, I, I had to go to the bathroom the whole time. I wish I had a catheter in, but I didn't, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to get up. I, I was watching. Um, I'm happy for Bruce. I'm happy for anybody who can live in their own truth. And yeah, he is brave because his life will never be the same in terms of he'll be hunted like a wild dog for the rest of his life, for the rest of his days. And, um, and he's different than Chaz, even though Chaz was the first that we know of, you know, um, to come out the way um, he did. Um, but Chaz is not part of the biggest reality show in the history. And also, the thing about Bruce is that it was all so deceptive because he really is a fame-hungry person like the rest of the family. And I think watching the show, um, we thought that he was the calming force, the one that didn't really want to be bothered. The reason why my son was interested in watching with me is because even though he's at, at this point, he doesn't care about the Kardashians or anything like that. But when they first came out, like in 2007, he thought Kim was hot. You know, like it, it was family watching, like, like we'd watch together. So, you know, with so much invested, I said, well, let's watch. Um, I was also really shocked that Kim is the most understanding and that Chloe is the least understanding. <laughs> But I also get what Chloe, um, what he said about Chloe, and that, you know, Chloe has lost so many, you know, so, so much loss in her life, particularly men, and so she's having a hard time understanding it. But she's not losing Bruce. Um, I loved when he went over to his closet with Diane Sawyer and pulled out that dress <laughs> with the illusion mesh. And can we go back to uh, take a look at Bruce? I, I love how he moves his lips when he talks. He's got a certain way of... He's, he's got... I, I mean, I think Bruce is attractive as a man. And we'll see what, what, what this is all going to be as a woman. But And here's another thing. R Bruce, what is that? Is that a wig, a weave? What, whatever it is, whatever it is. I, like, I need some of this. Yeah. And that face didn't move. It's like he's got a face full of fillers and Botox, honey. <laughs> but I'm happy for him. Unfortunately, at 65 years old, for the rest of his life, wouldn't you agree that between the paparazzi following him and you all, when you see him, like, in the lingerie department, you're going to be curious. <laughs> you're going to try to, like, invade his privacy and take pictures and stuff. I couldn't live my life like that. Although I also, if I felt like I, I was a woman, I couldn't live my life denying myself either, but I think I would rather dr play dress up in the house and dress up for my friends than be hunted like a wild dog because paparazzi and, and people are very, very uh, anno annoying. Anyway, look. <laughs> so Bruce is doing like this eight, um, eight series docu-series. It comes on in July, which I'm a little upset about, not for nothing, Bruce, because we go on break uh, at the end of July. <laughs> So I will not be here to talk with my constituency about your docu-series. If you can by chance have it at least come on in the middle of June. <laughs> then, yeah, please. And, oh, and one more thing, and one more thing, and don't get used to this. I feel for Chris. As a woman, I feel for Chris, and I know the other two wives spoke out, and social media is pissed because Chris hasn't said anything, although Chris said that she wasn't asked to say anything, which I don't believe. Uh, if you don't have anything good to say, then don't say anything at all. I mean, she, she released that statement about, you know, she, she was blessed to be married to him for 25 years, and now she's, you know, fortunate enough to be able to call him a hero. I don't believe that, you know? I mean, and I know that, you know, she knew that he liked to dress that way, and I know she's evil and she's viperous, so don't get used to me being nice to her. <laughs> but, but, today, today, I'm happy for Bruce, I feel bad for Chris, and I feel bad for the kids. That's it. Anyway, we're we'll gonna talk about it more on the Inside Scoop, everyone. Erica Vitrini is gonna come out. Okay, so Janet Jackson is missing from the music industry, and her fans have put out an all points bulletin, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> um, among the things that, um, that the, the fans say is, look, 
They tell her. Seriously, Janet, where the hell are you? We need you back. We miss you. The music industry misses you. Come back and show these young whippersnappers how it's done. We're not asking, we're begging. Um, no, Janet is living life perfectly, in my opinion. She spent her entire life being famous and being a part of the famous family and then having her own career. Now, you know what she did? To me, is ideal. She took her money, took her man's ring, and went over there and is minding her own business. Yeah. Yes, you know? And... Janet can't show the whippersnappers how it's done because you don't buy her music. Now, she did... Listen, she put... <laughs> listen, if I'm lying, I'm lying, but I'm not lying. I, I want to hear... I want to see Janet in Vegas do a residency and... <laughs> and I want her to sing... That's the way love goes, and all the songs that funny how time flies. The music that we know, not put out some stupid new music. Nobody cares. <laughs> the last album she put out was 2008. Do you remember what it's called? No. Discipline. <laughs> See? Discipline. Nobody bought the album. Nobody cares about new Janet music. We care about old Janet. We like Penny from Good Times, Janet. <laughs> and we like that's the way love goes, Janet. But. I like, to me, that's the way it's done, as opposed to out here struggling and trying to stay relevant like Mariah. You know, which, which, I'm not, that, that is not a read. Hold on, that is, that is not a read. I'm, I'm talking to you. Can we have a conversation? I, I mean, it's a lot for these girls over 40 to try to compete in a Rihanna world. I'm not even gonna call it a Beyonce world, because Beyonce is getting older as well. You know, it's, it's a Rihanna world, and it's, there's no point in even trying to fight that fight. Ew, who can't, who, like, no. So, so Janet saved her money and she married and she's over there. The last time that she, she was seen, according to the All Points Bulletin, was, uh, was in Milan. And there she is, yep. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether she's pregnant or whether she's pulling her pockets or whether she gained weight, but she just came out of the Giuseppe Zanotti store. So she was shoe shopping. And, uh, and that's it. So we know where Janet is. I just want her to either stay there and be happy or come here and do Vegas. Right. Uh, when I retire, when I retire, I want to retire. Like, I'm, you, I want to have some businesses set up, you know, so I, I'm retired. But I want to retire from TV. You know, and, and, and eyelashes, and <laughs> 25 pounds of makeup, you know, and, and flat hair, you know. Um, and then I want to come out of retirement, maybe once or twice a year, I would love to do like a Barbara Walters special, like, you know, we're like the inter interview special, and then I'll go back in the house and pull the blinds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beyonce's new stepdad is stepping out of line. <gasps> Richard Lawson. I thought that he was so sophisticated, and he and Tina, they're so age-appropriate and a really good couple. Um, and he apparently was at the magazine stand out in L.A. and was approached by the TMZ cameras, and he <gasps> willingly stood there answering questions about Beyonce and Jay-Z. And that. <gasps> yes, I know! He even plugged yeah, that new venture title. Take a look, look, just look. Me and all them, or you We're, really out, out, outside that we circle? Couldn't, we couldn't be tighter. Oh. My family, their family, we're one. Okay. And, uh, uh, it really is a, a blessing. I'm really grateful for the fact that, you know, it is a, it's a united family. Right on, man, right on, right on, right on, right on. Much success on your marriage and uh, Jay-Z and them getting ready to take over the music game as far as the, uh, like, a, what is it, type of... Title. Everybody out there buy title. Okay. it's the new thing, but it's the right thing. I mean, you don't have to agree with me. I just wish that he'd keep his mouth shut. Just, you know, I mean... He didn't say anything bad, 
but I just wish that he would have just waved to TMZ and kept it moving. I mean, I know he's an actor, and we haven't seen him act in a month of Sundays. <laughs> So perhaps he missed the attention. He was just happy that somebody recognized him. And this whole being involved with uh, being married now to Beyonce's mother is giving his public persona a reboot. But it's corny, though. Like, it's, it's corny. Uh, you know, I mean, stopping and talking to TMZ, that's something that, you know, I don't, just don't want this from my sophisticated cat daddy. <laughs> you know? And Beyonce and Jay-Z probably, probably didn't bother them, but I bet you Tina read him for filth when he got home. You know? I bet you. Uh-huh. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, inmates. How you doing? It's time for a Teresa update. <laughs> Teresa has hatched a new plan for when she gets out of prison. Ooh. Dancing with the stars. Yeah. yeah, right? I think so. I think that she'd be terrific on Dancing with the Stars. She recently um, released, or, or recently released inmate told Radar Online that Teresa um, uh, asked to do the show. Now, I know Dancing with the Stars is a family uh, show, but the costumes say otherwise. <laughs> And, and, and please, Dancing with the Stars, you really do need to have her on. And don't give me that. She's an ex-inmate. It's not good for America. I'm sure there are plenty of crooks in that building. <laughs> and that's a nice little amount of money. They pay $200,000, $250,000, you know, to do Dancing with the Stars. And Teresa doesn't impress me as the type that dances. You know, but, you know, it, neither was Patti LaBelle. You know, you stay if you have, like, a, a sparkly personality and you really give it up. And because she's sort of, like, a stunad. <laughs> you know, so, so she'll give up a lot of information and she'll be cute with her partner, but she has two left feet. The problem is... <laughs> You stay on Dancing with the Stars, they say, according to who votes for you to stay. Um, it, it, would you vote for Teresa to stay on? Okay, perfect. So, Teresa, this could work for you. Now, some of my haters here... Some of... Yeah, hater one and hater two. Uh, some of my haters here, Teresa, said... When she gets out of jail, she needs to spend time with her daughters. What are, wh why would she be going back and forth? I said, you know why? On account of she, she robbed all of us. So she needs to pay us back. Yeah. Number one. Like, the family is in debt millions of dollars. Also, it's not like she's going to be out there practicing. She'll practice where I did, in Fairfield, New Jersey, right behind the Target, but across from that private airport. <laughs> Yeah, she'll, she'll practice where I did, and then she'll do what I did, which is you get on a plane once a week, and you fly out there, and you have your priorities straight so you're not luxuriating. You fly right back. Like, I literally, as soon as the credits are rolling, I am taking off my lashes and hot... <laughs> hot-tailing it to the airport and wiping off the rest of my makeup, you know, and the jet. But, and, and because my priority was our son here and also entertaining you all here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you watch Grey's Anatomy? I do. <laughs> it comes on Thursday nights on ABC. So, Patrick Dempsey, who we all call McDreamy, yeah. his bad behavior cost his job. Oh. He was hit by a truck and left for dead. Oh. Well, look, Chandra Rhymes doesn't play, okay? <laughs> Patrick was suddenly killed off the show, Grey's Anatomy, because he came to work with an attitude. And Chandra, uh, Chandra has said many times that um, diva behavior and clashing personalities don't work on her show. Ask Katherine Heigl and several others. So, with that in mind, you know, so, some, some of my girls here, and some of the guys, too, um, said, now who are we going to look at? I said, excuse me, a pretty face is a dime a dozen. I mean, Patrick Dempsey certainly is a good-looking man, but, but you know what? We'll find another. Yeah. You know, we will.
And then I was like, well, I wonder why he had such an attitude. Uh, you know, what is going on? Uh, Shonda doesn't play. Let's investigate. So we investigated. <laughs> Look, he's been married for 15 years, but he's going through a divorce. Oh. He's worth $40 million and has no prenuptial agreement. Oh. And three children who have to now adjust to mommy and daddy, daddy being divorced. So, in other words, he brought his problems to work. And Shonda has no compassion. <laughs> she had to literally rewrite the script to kill him off. Yes, yes, there was no truck um, thing gonna happen. But just, just that quick, <laughs> just that quick. Yeah. And another thing, Patrick, you were less than smart for saying in an interview that acting is not your main passion, that your main passion is race car driving, and, he, and, and saying that he does the show for a check. Whoa. Really? Then check out. <laughs> check, check out. Check out. I mean, you might feel that way about your job, whatever your job is, but you don't let your boss hear you say something like that, because then you can get out. Bye. Oh, that's it. Keep clapping. Louder. Let me hear some barking. Yeah. More great show for you, everybody. Chef Sal from Patsy's Italian Restaurant is here. And Chef Sal is going to show us how to cook some celebrities' favorite food. Plus, another Wendy watcher is going to try to win big money in today's spring cha-ching segment. But up next, my girl, Erica Vitrini, is here with the inside scoop on Bruce, the family, and dealing with the transition. So don't go far. Thank you. is here and back on the Wendy couch. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Right. <laughs> and are you in on our spring to ching giveaway? Every day we're spinning and winning. Big money, big money, big money. If you're not watching, you can't win. So watch tomorrow on an all new Wendy. For the inside scoop, our friend Erica Vitrini is here with the juicy stories. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So let's talk about Bruce. Let's talk about Bruce. Um, he's struggling with uh, his gender um, identity. Yes, yes. His whole life. His entire life. As you mentioned early, Wendy, he said to himself, for all intents and purposes, I feel like I am a woman. Mm -hmm. I have the soul of a woman. Mm -hmm. I've always felt more female than male. Mm -hmm. However, biologically, he is still male. Now, he, he's going to get the, he's going to take care of that though. The, the gender reassignment yeah. surgery, he yeah. hasn't mentioned when. He says if he does and when he does it will be a secret. Yeah. But as far as but when it all happened, it started very young at the age of 8 or 9, he started trying on his mother and his sister's clothing. Yeah. He didn't know why he was doing it. He just knew that he felt good doing it. Cuz the girls clothes are pretty. Yeah. And he felt like he he felt like he he wanted to. Yeah. So he did that and then really struggled all through high school, all through his Olympic career. He was named the greatest athlete in the world and still felt like he was living a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Then 30 years ago, in the 80s, he starts to take hormones. Yeah. For five years, he takes hormones after two ended failed marriages. Yes. Yeah. And still, he, on he only stopped because he felt he wasn't sure how his family would react yeah. and how society would, whether they'd accept it or not. So it's really been a struggle for him his whole entire life. Yeah. Well, he's free now. He's free now. So how is his family taking it? Yeah. Well, that's, well, you know, it, that's hard. It's yeah. hard for all of them, and they're being extremely honest about how hard it was for all of them. Yeah. He's been relatively truthful to all three of his wives, yeah. telling him that he did enjoy dressing up, but not telling him the full truth, and he admits to that. With his first, go I ahead. I wonder why they didn't divorce him and just remain his friend, you know? Because what happens is, you know, we've looked at Chris mm -hmm. running around town with other men, allegedly during their marriage. Now we understand why, mm -hmm. you know? I'd be running around town also. But the thing is, is that you just look bad as a woman. You look like you're, you're cheating on your husband versus well, my husband and I have an arrangement. I, I would divorce yeah, well, him. It's, it's ironic. Well, so for Christy, he told her, and she thought she could nurture him and bring him around. We all think that we That's have something it. special. So that when, that, when that ended, he actually left her for Linda Thompson. And then he, told Linda. And, told, and Linda did leave him. Yeah, yeah well, because she said, that's not what I signed up for. Look, one of their children, one of the boys that they 
they had together was three, and then the other one was three months. Mm -hmm. And then your husband comes to you with this information. Right, and then after that marriage ended, he started taking the hormones. When he met Chris yeah. Jenner, he had already been taking the hormones for five years. Yeah. So he had to tell her some of the story, oh, please. not the entire story. He still never said to them, I, I don't know if I could live in this body for my whole life. Now the kids, he's got 10 kids, three wives. He had to tell them, no, I mean... Black, he, very he's... black. <laughs> It was a hard transition. He told Brandon first, then he told Kim, we've got a click from Diane Sawyer's interview, ABC Diane Sawyer's interview. Yes. It is shocking. Wait till you see the difference between how Kim and how Chloe handled it. Let's, let's put it, uh, go. Any of them taking it hard? And Chloe. <laughs> you, would think, you would think out of all of the kids, Chloe was like the, you know, the most fun, open-minded. Yay, let's go party. And that's not the case with Chloe. She's had the toughest time with it. Um, because she's had a lot of losses in her life. Kimberly has been, by far, the most accepting. Um, and the easiest to talk to about it. I find it very charming that he calls her Kimberly. I know, me too. But you know what he said Kimberly said to her, him? He said, well, listen, if you're going to do this, you're going to rock it. You're yeah. going to look good because you're rep representing the Kardashians. Yeah. On the other side, Chloe has come around too, and she says, if you're going to be a lady, then you better have lady parts. Lady parts. <laughs> so, so... Um, I guess next stop is his, his, his reality show. Yeah, next up, well, he's got another. And this is the last time we're going to see Bruce as Bruce. When he comes back next, he is going to be her. We, he knows her name already. He has a name for her. He hasn't told it's us about it. It's not going to be Belinda? It's, I uh, know. Okay. <laughs> but in all truth, I mean, this is such a liberating uh, moment for him. I feel like he's really accepting and he's excited about the transition. When he sees it, he, he, tell, he wants the world to know that he feels like he's doing a really good thing, that he's being brave, and he feels like making the statement and coming out will really, will really have an impact on everybody. You know what? And it really does help um, us to accept him because he's such he a lovely man. He's, he is. Because he's a lovely man. He is. Lovely. And truthfully, I feel like all of the all of the Kardashians has come out in full support. Just today, Kim out. Kim just today, Kim came out to say that 100%. The whole family may not understand, but 100% they do support. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Ariana Grande and yeah, Big dear. Sean. So, <laughs> they, so they've split up, but things are getting out of control. Oh You've been covering this for a while. They've, they were together for eight months. They split up. Now Ariana is finally telling her side of the story. She says, "What he do?" She's okay. In that, and she came out with a song called "Stay Down," where he refers to Ariana's billion dollar lady parts so what's the problem oh she's mad well the gram her grandmother came up to her and said excuse me um can you explain this like excuse me was... grandma why are you listening to big sean <laughs> i mean you know so she was insulted because he she feels yeah she feels like she's he's treats her like a piece of meat and then there's been back and forth um since then as well big sean says um, she made me pay for all of these extravagant, extravagant things like, you know, whatever. And she comes back and says, no, I actually paid for the flights and the vacations, remember. So we know this, and it's very far from where they started, which was, we're going to be amicable. It's an amicable split. No, yeah. it's far from amicable. They're being, they're being kids. Because they are kids. Because they are kids. I love you. <laughs> Erica Petrini, everybody with the Inside Scoop. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. Topic sound off. This is where my Wendy watchers here in the audience, my co host, get a chance to say it like they mean it. What are we talking about? Hi, my name is Lauren, and how are you doing? How are you doing, how Lauren? You doing? And I'm here to sound off about uh, the Bruce Jenner inter interview. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to commend him. I, I really give him a lot of credit, and he shouldn't have to live a lie. Yeah. But this is my concern. Um, I don't understand something. He's had three marriages, long term. Uh -huh. There was no clue even before. I mean, you are dating someone, there's no little hints. I don't understand why. They stayed so long. If you see your husband walking around in your little tutu or your dress. I, I, immediately, I, I could never jump his bones again. Like, no. never. No. So, I, I, I really, um, I, I'm just wondering. I know we all, like you said, we're in denial sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But for years, 25 years. Yeah, well. Anyway, mm, I, uh, I love Diane Sawyer. I thought the interview was fantastic. I agree. And the dress that he showed her. At the end, the black one? I would wear that in a heartbeat. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Who's next? It's the Barker. <laughs> how you doing? Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I'm Hi, Elijah your, Abraham. Your skin is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> how you doing, Wendy? I'm doing well. How, how, 
um, what are you what are you sounding off? I'm about? here to sound off about Teresa Judice. Okay. okay, so I agree with you 100. percent I'm a dancer, and she can't dance. But I think I think that the show will be amazing for her. I mean, after all, Joe and Teresa have been in the media for. Ever yes. with this bankruptcy, you know, they're broke, their marriage is yeah. falling apart. The girls have been in the media. I think that Dance with the Stars is positive, a family show. Mm -hmm. Like you said, she can't dance, but I think it's going to be perfect for her coming out of prison. She's got a good personality. Great personality. Yeah. She'll be, bring the glam, and she'll definitely bring the drama. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. We have time for one more. Come on over. Come on over. Hi, Wendy. I'm Ashley. Hi, How Ashley. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm here to sound off on Bruce Jenner. First off, I'd like to say he was very courageous and brave to get out there and say how he is turning into a woman. You know, he was in the limelight for so long as an athletic icon, mm -hmm. and it was very probably hard for him to do that. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I am concerned about is they are very, right now, his family is very supportive of everything going on. Yes. I'm just wondering if they're going to still be as supportive when they see the full effect of her. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Thanks, yeah. Ashley. Thank, Thank all you. three of you. you. All right, everybody. Still ahead. Stay by your telephone. I've got your number. And we're going to be calling a lucky Wendy viewer for our spring cha-ching. But up next, we're going to some of my favorites. It's Patsy's Italian Restaurant. Don't go away. Clap it up for an all-new Wendy. Ow. With hot topics that'll make you go. Yes. And you know I love twins. One of my favorites, Tia Mori, with her tastiest recipes. That sister can cook. <laughs> Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. We're putting the cha-ching in spring. April 23rd through May 20th. I'm calling Lucky Wendy watchers every day with a question about our show. And then it's a spin to see how much they can win. Watching Wendy could pay off big. Get details on how you can enter for your chance to play on my Facebook page now. <laughs> Our next guest is the owner of Celebrity Hotspot here in New York City. It's called Patsy's Italian Restaurant. He's got a new cookbook. It's called Patsy's Italian Family Cookbook. It's... Is, is that that's what it's called? That's it. Oh, that's, it. Okay. that's right. You got it. It's in stores now. Say hi to my pal, Sal. Oh, so nice to you. Thank Sal, you. I'm so excited. I, I, did, I didn't want to butcher, butcher your last name. How do you say it? Scognamillo. Okay. Scognamillo. My gosh. She's perfect. So, um, <laughs> celebrities love Patsy's. Who are some of your regulars? Well, I tell you, the, the reason we were famous, made famous, is uh, from Frank Sinatra. He right. Was, uh, he, it's a restaurant made famous from Frank Sinatra. And I want to point out, it's only one location, West 56th Street. Yes. The only one by That's the Scognamillo family. Yeah. And now, we, we, how, how long have you had that place? How old is it? Uh, 1944. My Jeez. grandparents started. Pasquale and Conchata. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, and my father's been working there. My father's working there the whole 71 years. My yeah? Dad. Yeah, very blessed. I saw a picture of George Clooney and Amal in the paper the other day. They were coming from your place. We actually talked about it on Hot Topics. So what did George order? You know, he was very good about it. He had a grilled chicken tricolori salad. Very simple. It's arugula and dye radicchio with a balsamic vinaigrette. I'm so surprised. I think he was he's... watching his car. Okay, so okay. I think he was watching. Okay. But Amal, she wanted, and she says, I only want, I know American portions must, must be big. She says, I want a half portion of the pasta. Okay. So I made a penne with Fra Diablo, and I'm going to show you that recipe right here. Okay. I got some onions and garlic here. Uh, yeah, I know. You can smell it. It's oh, delicious. delicious. We got some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes that we boiled, took the skin off and chopped up, so okay. they'll go right in there. Yeah. Very simple. So and now you you are the head chef there, the head as well chef, as the owner, as one of the owners. Yes. Yes. And uh, it's only been three chefs all these years: my grandfather, my my dad, and me. Wow. So we try our best. Yes. Good, good for you. Thank you. Now, we did here. For the sake of time, what we did was we got this boiling up here now, and it's the garlic tomatoes all there. Now we add a little bit of salt. They of told course. me you have a funny story about Puffy. What do you do? Oh my God, it's so fun. My my aunt loved. Loves him so much, uh -huh. but she's gone now. But uh -huh. when he first started coming in, he said, my aunt said, can I have his autograph? I like my, his autograph for my grandchildren. They really like my, his music. I don't think, I don't like it too much, she yeah, said. Yeah. But so, so he was laughing hysterical when she said that to him. She called him over. She called him Mr. Daddy. Mr. Daddy. Yeah, because this was, uh, you know. 75-year-old grandmother, Mr. so it's Daddy. so funny. And bottom line is, uh, he gave her the autograph. Five years later, when she passed away, he sent two dozen roses for her. Oh, how sweet, Very how nice. civilized. So, All right, let me so taste, taste some uh, of this is, Diablo. So, uh, a little spicy. Diablo, I love spice. A little spicy, and then 
Isn't that tasty? Mm. Very good. And we can and spaghetti meatballs is, is Pete Diddy's favorite when he comes in okay. all the time. Too. They tell me that your meatballs are 100 percent veal. We make which just, just with veal. It, it stays very moist. Grandpa Patsy's recipe. I'm never going to change it. And they come really nice. I, I want you to give them a try. Tell me what you think. It's a, it's a little different. Mm. Nice, mm. And, nice and gelatin. Good flavor. Everything. <laughs> And, and then, nice, nice consistency. And then it's uh, J Lo's favorite. She's been coming forever. It's the ricotta cheesecake. Okay. Ricotta cheesecake. I've never Very had tasty. ricotta cheesecake before. Yes, it's instead of like American cheesecake with, with cream cheese. This is what ricotta cheese. Okay. Cheese. Very good. And it, yes, and yes, it is. And she was, and it's funny. She was. She comes in quite often. And one time she came in with Ben Affleck the oh. right before they broke up. You remember that Benefit whole thing and everything. Right. And they did a takeout order. I made it for them. I asked if I could take a photo. We took a nice picture. And I tell you, they didn't even get out the door, and the phone rings. I won't say who it was, but it was a national magazine called up. Want to buy a picture of you and Ben and Jen? I said, I don't have a picture. Well, how much were they offering? $5,000. I said, I just told you I don't have a picture. $50,000 if he's at the bar having a drink because he's a recovering alcoholic. I hung up the phone on him. Wow. So celebrities are safe at Patsy's. Oh, no, that's... Uh, well, people would always ask about Frank Sinatra. What, it was Frank Sinatra there. They asked my father... My father said, who? Who are you talking about, you know? <laughs> that, was, that was our thing, you know? We want to protect their privacy as well. Well. We've been very blessed. Well, the food is delicious, celebrities are safe, and you can do a celebrity spotting. Thank you so much, Sal. Everyone's getting a cookbook. For yeah. information on these recipes, go to wendyshow.com. And like Sal just said, his new cookbook is called Patsy's Italian Family Cookbook. It's in stores now, but everyone in our studio audience is going home with their coffee. <laughs> There's so much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments, catch my after show, and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Welcome back. It's time for Ask Wendy. Everybody have a seat except for you. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Denise. How you doing? Hi, Denise. How can I help? Okay, a group of girlfriends and myself uh -huh. have committed to having dinner once a month at each other's house. Mm -hmm. So I'm a guest at someone's house, and I walk past the kitchen, and she stirs the pot and licks the spoon. Oh, isn't everybody high, bro? stirs the pot again. Okay. So I'm mortified. Well, I guess you won't be eating at so, my house, because so I'm always staring and looking. And I swig out of the orange juice. So my question to you is, should I say something to the hostess? No. Should I tell my girlfriends? No. Just save myself. Yeah, but here's, the, here's the thing, everybody. How do you know the food is good if you're not, if you're not staring and licking? I don't care. that restaurant cooks exactly these people are unrealistic <laughs> denise but i saw it so what <laughs> all right so just let, save myself let i have it, to save myself she, that, i'm sure that's not the only thing she licked in i'm oh. sure that, like, I'm, she tasted everything she tasted everything of course she did of course get out of here denise <laughs> i'm saying how you doing? Hey, Wendy, how you doing? My name's Valerie. I have a younger brother. He is 28, and he is oh, just really immature. Uh, he has a wife and two kids, uh -huh. but he still shop shops in my parents' cupboards. My mom calls him in the morning to wake him up for his part-time job. What? Yeah, yeah. So I know, he's a man-child. Uh, yes, yes. But I know my mom likes to feel needed. Like, that's, that's her thing. But how do I explain to her that this is hurting him and it's not helping? Well, how, what kind of sister-in-law do you have? Is, oh. she, is she a girl or is she a woman? She's... Yes. <laughs> I have a sister-in-law. Okay. So, in other words, she's no help. She's enabling as well. So... Okay. And how yes. old are the kids? Um, two, not yet two, and newborn. Your brother needs to grow up, and your mother needs to stop enabling. And if she wants to feel needed, how about babysitting? Oh, good idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got three. She okay. Very well. Thank, Thank you. you. Up next, everybody, we're going to call one lucky viewer and give him a chance to win up to $5,000 playing Strange Cha-Ching. Go, go, go. to play Spring to Ching. This is where one lucky viewer gets a chance to win up to $5,000 on our big wheel. So 
it's, it's time to uh, get our contestant on the line. Let's talk to her. Are we dialing? Oh. Hello? Dana Schwedner of New York City. Oh, my God, no way. <laughs> Hi, Dana. Okay, so Dana, you're today's spring cha-ching contestant. Have oh, my God. You, have you been watching our show every day? Every day, every day. Oh, my God. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, it's time to find out how much you're playing for. Suzanne, spin the wheel. Let's go, Suzanne. Suzanne. It is really important that you get this right because you're playing for five thousand dollars. Oh my goodness. Okay. Don't help her. Listen closely, okay? Because you're only gonna have 15 seconds to answer the following question. You ready? I'm ready. During Friday's segment of uh, Wendy's Got You Covered, I revealed that I'm on the cover of which magazine? Oh my god, Ebony. Yes! If you want to be like Dana and get your chance to win up to $5,000, go to my Facebook page to enter and keep watching every day because we could be calling you. We'll be right back. <laughs> I want to thank Chef Sal from Patsy's Italian Restaurant, also Erica Vitrini with the Inside Scoop, my co-host, my studio audience, you all are fantastic. We've got a really exciting week of shows for you. Rosie Perez is on tomorrow. Who's on, who's on, on Wednesday? Brandon Norwood. Oh, wait. Tia Mary. And then Brandon's coming Thursday. Robin Roberts is Friday. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.